Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make homemade butter. It's very, very easy to do and you only need one ingredient. It's also great for turning into ghee if you'd like. I often like to do that with butter. So let's get started. So to make butter, you will need whipping cream. I have 500 milliliters here, a container of choice, a spoon, and you'll also need a bowl and a hand blender. And be sure that you're using a really good quality, full fat, 35% whipping cream. I like Harmony Organic because they are local to where I am and they're grass fed as well, which is ideal. So begin by adding your whipping cream into a bowl and just start blending with your hand blender on high. There are a few stages when it comes to making butter and the first stage is that you will start creating your whipped cream. And at this point you want to keep on going, keep on whipping. And your second stage will be almost like um, your, your past whipped cream and it's starting to just almost curdle a little bit. And you can just continue to wipe down the sides of the bowl as you go. This entire process of blending will probably take about 10 minutes total. So you keep blending and then your third final stage is um, the liquid will start to separate from the fat. And you're, you know, you definitely are way past whipping cream. We're basically, you know, no longer in Kansas anymore, Dorothy. Once you have reached this stage, you can take your spoon and just start pressing the fat together and the liquid will just kind of separate as you do this and you can discard the liquid as you go. This does require a little bit of elbow grease and uh, will take a few minutes, but just keep doing this. You can also rinse your butter in cold water as you go along too. And you can just kind of keep rinsing it and keep pressing it, keep squeezing it. And you can add your salt here as well if you would like to have some salted butter. And after a couple of minutes of doing this, you'll notice that there's pretty much no liquid at all that you're gonna be able to um, release from it. And then there you have butter that has now been created. I like to store mine in a glass mason jar. This one here is 250 milliliters. I always have butter on hand. It's my cooking fat of choice next to coconut oil and avocado oil, and that's because it's stable to high heat cooking due to its saturated fat content, just like coconut oil. I most often like to use ghee as well. I'll, I'll make butter into ghee, which is clarified butter where all of the milk solids have been removed. So be sure to check back for my video on how to make homemade ghee. And if you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel for weekly videos and I will see you guys later. Bye!